Okay, hello. I had to restart because I ran out of space. So all apologies, we're just continuing from the last video if you tuned in. It was called Queen of Swords. It's now posted. Uh, it ends at a really weird period because of the fact that the camera just stopped recording. I ran out of space and I had to start with a brand new camera. So welcome back. And we have the Queen of Swords still here. You wanna see her? She's right here. She's looking at you and you are her. He is she, she are you, you know what it is. And we have the Three of Cups also, just for you to be reminded. Ladies holding each other's backs. There's something having me pause here and I do wanna say something about this. The Three of Cups being this little reunion that we spoke of in the previous video, I feel like is a wishful experiment of yours in your head. I feel like a lot of you really want this reunion with whomever this energy is. And we're gonna clarify today for some signs and some zodiac information. We also have the Eight of Pentacles. This one came in as a spiritual Eight of Pentacles where you're studying and you are manifesting something within the metaphysical needs, okay? So we're gonna keep going because you have a lot of interesting energy here today. Queen of Swords for Libra, thank you. Can we have more for the Queen of Swords as well? Can we have a thorough explanation? Angels and guides, thank you so much. Early deliveries, Libra. Spirit wants to tell you why you're Queen of Swordsing as well. And we're gonna find out here. Also, the cutout video still has pertinent information which you must go check out. I hope you do because there's something there for you. Okay, we have our delivery. Let's see what we have here. We have the Eight of Pence. We also have the Page of Cups, the Nine of Wands, and that's what I thought, the Ace of Swords. I could feel it. The Queen of Swords has some sort of something they wanna say all the time, right? There's something here that needs to be released into the universe as far as words. Uh, for some of you, there's no justification here for that. Um, it's been a long time coming. You feel maybe you haven't been hurt here in a situation. So I do see survival energy here. For some of you, the messages are going to be coming. You're going to be getting information via something that's going to be reversed here. There's something that is going to come back to you, which initially should have been delivered on time. I also see here a page of cups, like an immature energy that comes in, tries to test you, tries to play on your emotions. And I do think that it makes you, it gives me a little sadness here, but you're so strong. So some days you are able to assimilate that this person just needs to go away. <laughs> um, for some of you, the Ace of Swords too, and you know what I mean if this is you. The Ace of Swords is something that you're gonna be enlightened about. There's something coming, and I even feel it in the Eight of Wands when I touched it today. There's, a, there's information that you're going to be receiving for some of you like right by your birthday. And I feel like this is just going to be a gift. You're going to get it and you're going to be like, holy crap, why didn't I get this before? Um, and it's going to be a little humorous, I feel, because you're, you're going to almost have a confirmation within itself. There's something here about already knowing that. And this page of cups, the information is going to be particularly about this person or involving this person. Okay. Let's keep going here. Three of Cups for Libra. Also, are these new friends, are these acquaintances, what's going on with the Three of Cups here? Uh, this is interesting energy because universally you get the Three of Cups maybe every other day. And I've been wanting to clarify this for myself, just as a Libra myself. But uh, I wanna see if you guys even have this inkling here of the Three of Cups being new friends or this is something where you need camaraderie Thank you, Spirit. Bottom of the deck, the Five of Pentacles, Two Fives, the Five of Wands, and the Page of Wands. You're in, inviting new energy here. And what I see, Libra, is that for some of you, this is also causing a little bit of a stir. And there's a little drama involved because I feel like with this competition and almost like Libra, you're the page of wands in this photo. I feel like you're unaware and you're blissfully unaware of what this could possibly do, what this could possibly make another person feel. Um, for some of you, it's a new love that came into your life. So it's possibly causing problems for other people who may have liked you or maybe had sort of a crush. We also here have the five of pentacles, which means someone is left out in the cold from this feeling. I don't know if some of you know this, but this person always tries to come through, but it's very light. It's very light, it's very in and out. Uh, it's also indecisive. Uh, this could also be you, Libra, but I do feel like you're the page of wands today in this reading, okay? Which is someone of excitement, 
someone with this youthful energy, but I almost feel like it's causing a stir. There's drama around this. Um, and maybe you're like blissfully unaware of what this could be doing at this time. Okay, so this is a hint for someone here today that kind of knows this is what's happening in the background, but they just don't have a confirmation of it. And I do feel like it's causing unnecessary competition. Let's keep going with this Ace of Swords. What does Libra do to find out from this situation? Thank you, Spirit. Hierophant on the floor, face up. I'm going to take it today. There is both this light energy. If you see here in the Ace of Swords, it's coming out of her brain, out of her center of knowledge. Also, the Hierophant has this light beam up that staircase. It's the same light. I feel here that this information is going to be an aha moment for a lot of you. A lot of you that's been needing confirmation over the last few weeks about a certain behavior someone has around you. I feel like you even know about it in some light sense, but this person feels like it's a secret and they hide it from you. So there's something about that here. It could be about a behavior. It could be about the way they handle you, Libra. And it could also be that they're playing a game. I feel here that it's a game to them. They find it a little funny. Um, and it's not funny towards you. So I think that's why the Queen of Swords is like, if you want to play with me, I'm going to cut you. All right. There's something about both of those having a relationship here today and you knowing that you have to lay down the law. But we're going to keep going because I want to know what's truly happening behind the scenes. Uh, clarify Eight of Pentacles, Three of Cups, please. What's happening in this story today? We have the Hermit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The Hermit and the Ten of Swords. I laugh, Libra, because I feel like this person doesn't want to show themselves at this time. I also feel like they Hermit for a reason because they know they're going to get caught by you, which is a big kind of confirmation here today. It's funny because the Hermit is about attaining knowledge and it's about seeking guidance, but this person is hiding from you for a reason. There's also the Five of Cups here, lots of regret for how they treated you. Did you catch that? There's a reason why there's a little bit of hermiting on their end because they don't want to carry the guilt to go forward. And you have that Ten of Swords at the very end. So this is going to be a completion for you once you find out. And this information is totally secret at this time. We have the judgment, which means that's going to be coming for a lot of you by your birthday. This decision is going to be the final sword. And we have the lovers. This is about you having a new beginning in love, okay? And for some of you, you just, you needed a certain confirmation. So I want to show you those ending cards again because it will bring a completion for a love matter. Whoopsie. <laughs> we have these three cards today. And a lot of you are, um, you're decisive when you want something. So there's something here about the judgment coming in on time for you. Somewhat of a present, okay? That's the message today. Thank you guys for watching. I will have your... Mood one coming up next. So I'll see you there. Have a great day. Libra Light out.